Adventurers and artists, welcome back. I recently went on a trip to Queenstown to film two videos. I had no idea what they were going to be about. All that I knew was that I wanted to go on an adventure and I wanted to create art. Queenstown is known as the adventure capital of the world and I moved from the city to Queenstown about six years ago to undertake a diploma of hospitality management. It was a really good course, but something about living in the mountains and immersing myself in nature activated within me an instinct to search for a deeper meaning to my life. On the surface, I traveled to Queenstown to establish the foundation of a career in hospitality, but deep down, it was adventure that I was really seeking. I always wanted my life to feel that it was an adventure. You know, growing up as a kid, I was reading a lot of fantasy books, and the characters were always going on these epic journeys, discovering new lands and unlocking magic within themselves and the world. The Lord of the Rings was always my favorite story, and when I moved to Queenstown, I was suddenly exploring the very landscapes where Peter Jackson filmed the movies. Throughout my teenage years living at home, I satisfied my sense of adventure with RPG video games, but it wasn't the real thing. When I moved to Queenstown, I really found that deeper sense of adventure that I was always seeking. This feeling that there is so much more out there to learn, discover, and explore. Instead of focusing on my studies, I became very introspective and I started really studying myself. I started to seek my life purpose and I really started to believe that everybody has a unique gift that they must share with the world. And I started to wonder what mine was. As well as a deeper sense of adventure, Queenstown also fostered in me this need to create. I was deeply inspired by the mountains and the lakes, and I wanted to transmute that inspiration into something that I could share with others. I just wasn't sure what or how. I found a subtle magic in nature, and I wanted to somehow capture it and share it in my own way. And I felt that art was really the only way that I could do that. I played the piano at the time, and I had composed several piano tunes, but I wasn't that good at it. I also liked to film videos with my phone, but I wasn't particularly skilled with that either. By all accounts, I wasn't an artist. I had a much better chance really choosing hospitality as my career path because that's what I was actually in Queenstown studying. But I had to follow my heart. I had to walk this path of music and, and video because that's what I felt I really wanted to do. So I called my parents and I told them I want to be an artist. And they were very supportive of my decision, but they feared for my future because making a living as an artist is notoriously difficult. It is possible, but it is quite difficult, especially in New Zealand. I had to figure out how to make this work because this is the life that I always dreamed about as a kid, this life of adventure and art. So when I finished my diploma, I left hospitality behind me and I really started to focus on cultivating my crafts. I'm five years into this endeavor of adventure and art and I recently went on a trip back to Queenstown to film two videos. I had no idea what they were going to be about. All that I knew was that I wanted to go on an adventure and I wanted to create art. I'm still a long way off from capturing the magic that I want to capture and transmuting the inspiration that I find in nature. But with every piece of music I compose, every video that I make, every word that I write, I am getting closer. My crafts have come a long way since I first started walking this path of adventure and art, but still, 
The journey has only just begun. What is your adventure? What is your art?